What is up guys, it is King from Ariana and King Gaming here and in today's video we are going to be comparing the two brand new iPad, iPad 10 and iPad Pro to the current iPad Air 5 which I have right over here. So let's get started. So first let's just take a look at the new redesigned iPad and the iPad Pro is pretty much just the same so let's take a look really quickly. Nice, four new colors. Actually, three. Oh, it doesn't have the home button anymore. Nice. Oh, that that looks different. Oh, this they still have the Apple Pencil one. Oh, nice new cases. Anyways, so you can go and watch the rest of that. It's a nine minute event. And the iPad Pro is pretty much the same, just with M2. So yeah, so let's get compare. All right, so here we are, and let's go. All right, so right now we are going to be comparing them, and it's already right here, so yeah, let's go. So we're going to be comparing, we're gonna be doing the 11th, 11 inch one, iPad Pro, which is the, the new one, yes. Instead of the 12.9 inch, because that one's pretty much basically the same thing, and these will be a lot closer in some ways. So let's go. Okay, so color wise, um, they for pro both pros, space gray and silver color for iPad Air 5, which is is actually being recorded on right now. Space gray, starlight, pink, purple and blue. And then iPad 10th gen, which has always only had space gray and silver, or something like that, now gets colors. So we get silver, pink, blue, and yellow. And those are nice. Um, and iPad Pro 11 inch is starting at $799, $800 with Wi-Fi, the iPad Air 5th Gen is starting at $600, um, for, um, $600, yeah, 600 um, with Wi-Fi for 64 gigabytes, and the 10th Gen is for starting at $449, um, with Wi-Fi. So it's all pretty much the same thing, except the... 11 inch is just 0.1 inch bigger, so barely a difference. And it has ProMotion technology, and the other two have 10.9 inch displays, Liquid Retina displays, and True Tone. The, oh, here's where it changes. The iPad Pro has an M2 chip, and the iPad Air 5 has an M1 chip. And the iPad 10 has an A14. And if you any any device that has A14 means it allows 5G. So this iPad does have 5G, which we'll get to that later. And I'm kind of surprised they didn't go with the M1 chip for it, or at least the A15. But anyways, let's keep going. So cameras, the Pro has a 12 um, megapixel wide and 10 megapixel ultra wide camera with the lidar scanner i don't exact a speaker right there and a flashlight both of these yes both of these um have um one single wide 12 megapixel wide camera and a speaker no like um any like um uh no, no flashlight or lidar scanner. And let's keep going. They both, they all have 12 megapixel front cameras. The the Pro has a true depth camera system with ultra wide, which means that it allows Face ID. And the ultra with an ultra wide also means that it does center stage, and the the 12. No. Why am I saying that? The iPad Air 5 has a 12 megapixel ultra wide front camera, so it has center stage. 
and the 12 megapixel, the iPad 10 has a 12 megapixel landscape ultra wide front camera, which basically by landscape, it means instead of like the camera being up here, it's on this side. And I'm noticing that there's a little dot on the side right there. So I'm wondering if mine has that or what that is. Huh. Let's keep going. And they all have USB-C connectors. And the 11-inch Pro has connector with support for Thunderbolt slash USB 4. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But anyways, let's keep going. They all have 5G. And the Pro have in streaming support for MM Wave. And those two are also the same. 11 has um, Face ID. And then the 5th and the 10th have Touch ID on the top power button right there. So you can see. And right there. Let's keep going. And they have, the Pro has up to 2 terabytes of storage, and the 5 and 10 have up to 256. Those have a 256 option and a 64 gigabyte option. So these two, the Pro and the 5, have Apple Pencil second generation where it like magnetically attaches on the side. And then... um. This one is kind of strange. It works. It still works with Apple Pencil 1. But if you you see there's a little 3. And at the end of the video we'll go down to that. And. Um, so there's also this. Um, it works with Magic Keyboard and Smart Keyboard Folio. Works with Magic Keyboard and Smart Keyboard Folio. Pretty much the same thing. And works with magic key. this one has a new thing and it's magic key folio which is pretty cool here's just the capacity and storage sizes for everything and here's just some extra stuff that we pretty much already have so yeah oh and one of the things that people were hoping for the five or the 10th gen was a fully illuminated display, but it doesn't have that yet. And um, the 11 inch now and the pros have Apple Pencil Hover. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. If you did enjoy, oh, and yes, um, Apple Pencil first generation needs, because it's USB-C, it needs, for the, it needs USB-C to Apple Pencil adapter which is nine dollars so yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll